Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Ye shall receive them and ye shall have them. Two dimensions. Ye shall receive them and ye shall have them. You can never truly have what you have not received. And anything that is worth receiving can be rejected. As many as received him, that means not everyone will receive him. Ye shall receive power. That means you can reject power. Are we together now? Romans chapter 10 and verse 19, popular scripture among believers the Bible tries again to give us an idea on how faith works Romans chapter 10 am I right now look up please it says so then faith comment anything that comes must be alive and anything that comes must sustain the ability to move it personifies faith that faith like a messenger can come are we together now? Faith cometh. Faith cometh. Faith cometh. It comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When you read the original Greek context, it is hearing and that hearing translating into understanding by the word of God. It's not just hearing like repetition alone, but hearing. There is a hearing that leads to understanding and that comes by the word of God. Now we see Paul mentoring the church in Rome. In addition to all that Jesus taught, we see him introducing the word of God now. Are you getting the pieces together now? So we see that in the faith equation, there is speech. In the faith equation, there is prayer. In the faith equation, there is the word of God. In the faith equation, there is the presence of obstacles. In the faith equation, there is believing. In the faith equation, there is receiving. In the faith equation, there is having. Imagine how many of these concepts we omit and just pick one or two and yet expect our results to be Bible faith. All of these pieces must come together by the Spirit of God. Then we must know how to engage them with understanding. Your heart has a role to play. Your mouth has a role to play. The mountain that stands before you has a role to play. The word of God has a role to play. Prayer has a role to play. You must understand and master how we receive things in the realm of the spirit. And you must know how to have these things. Faith, the Bible says. It comes by hearing and even hearing by the word of God. What then is faith? Let's define faith very quickly. Is God helping us here? Generally speaking, Faith refers to absolute confidence in God. Faith is a measure of our confidence in God. But then it does not stop there. This is just a general definition. Confidence in God. Confidence in the integrity of his person. We call that faith. But let me give you a definition of faith that I consider to be quite instructive. I define faith as the name given to the action you take based on your conviction if you're writing please write this down that faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word it's called faith faith goes beyond believing believing is part of the equation of faith but it does not complete faith. Please understand this. I am believing God. Wonderful. But if it stops there, it is not Bible faith. Faith is the name given to the action you take. Not just based on desire. Based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his word. The name given to that action. The drive that pushes you. The obedient response predicated 
on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word is Bible faith. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let's demonstrate something here. Can I have any gentleman, any one of it's not impartation, just people always do. Come, come, my friend, come. Oh, you're already here. How do we do it now? Okay, well, you come stand so that just stand there. Everyone watch this. Just stand facing me. <laughs> I don't even know. I just need one person. I don't know what to do with three of them. Okay, that's that's all right. You stand, don't feel embarrassed. Now watch this. I'm going to give you a handkerchief. Hold this. Hold this, lift it up. Then you lift your book up. These are the possibilities that the Bible says we can obtain in Christ. Are we together? Now, um, if the Bible says this is what should be your inheritance, if I ask you come and receive it, just say you are coming but don't come. Ready? Keep confessing that you are coming. Come and have this. This is what many of us are doing. Keep Two years. Five years. Seven years. Yet it's a reality in Christ. And you are speaking. But your faith equation is not complete. Because it's more than. If you did not believe me. You will not even look my direction. So the problem is not your believing. And yet. Mr. Man. While he has been talking for five years, you run and come and pick. This is in two years. Are you seeing now? This gentleman has been believing God for five years. And someone comes from nowhere with childlike faith, knowing what to do. And in one year, obtains that possibility. does not change. Time only reveals. Meaning if your life must change, if things must turn around in your life, it will be based on your truly understanding God's system of faith and sustaining the grace to engage it accordingly. Are we together now? So this is a possibility. The Bible says it is yours in Christ. But the dynamics of reception, the dynamics of having it and making it manifest in your life here and now is where I think many well-intentioned believers are stranded and left in limbo. So we have our Bibles full of promises. We have our Bibles full of Realities that the Bible says should be part of our lives as far as our earth work is concerned. And then we even go a step further to read them and understand them. And yet, sadly speaking for many people at the end of our lives, we are not able to do a very effective inventory of all these things. We cannot truly say, that much of these spiritual realities have found expression in our lives. The average believer sadly may go to his grave with hardly anything at all. Most of the things that happen to us that we call and we believe came by faith only happen by the law of time and chance. Because there is a law called the law of time and chance. Even, an, even a dead clock is right twice in a day. If you remove the battery from a clock, it will still be right two times in a day. So there are many results that are not by actively engaging faith. Some of them just happen as a result of the law of time and chance because the Bible says it happens to them all. My intention in this conference is to stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit, your man of God, alongside all the ministers that come to teach here to help bring to our lives the grace to produce intentional results. Not results you cannot explain. No. You know, sometimes we hide behind confusion and just say, God be glorified. As though, God, I don't know anything about this. 
we are not very honest if you are the bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully you can know how a result came about how else will you teach people if you do not know ultimately we give glory to god but you can know how the anointing came to your life you can know how favor came to your life you can know how expansion came to your business it is herein is my father glorified john 15 and verse 8 when ye bear much fruit you prove that i mentored you when you produce results so shall you be my disciples the bible says let your light so shine before men he wants men to see it don't just keep silent i'm not talking of some boastful arrogant manifest Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.